Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're lifting off into the future of autonomous aviation with the S-70 UAS U-Hawk, Lockheed Martin's game-changing unmanned version of the legendary UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter that's ditching the cockpit for a fully autonomous beast mode, packing 25% more cargo space and opening doors to wild new missions in logistics, resupply, and beyond. If you're an aviation tech fan, a defense strategy buff, or just hooked on how turning a workhorse chopper into a pilotless powerhouse is flipping the script on risky ops like cargo drops in hot zones or drone launches from the sky, you're in for an exciting ride. Because the U-Hawk isn't just a drone. It's a modified UH-60L Black Hawk with the entire front end swapped for a clamshell nose cargo bay, designed to haul thousands of pounds autonomously while launching smaller drones or loitering munitions, all without putting a single pilot at risk. Unveiled on October 13, 2025 by Sikorsky, this versatile unmanned aerial system is eyeing flight tests next year and could redefine how militaries move gear in contested areas like the Indo-Pacific or Ukraine-style fronts. We'll break down its standout capabilities, give you the full technical scoop based on the fresh reveal, explore how it's set to swarm the battlefield from the air, and hit you with the latest buzz straight from the announcement as of October 13th, 2025, including its multi-mission potential and why it's a big deal for the US military. So grab a snack, buckle up, and let's hover into everything you need to know about the U-Hawk. The U-Hawk's capabilities are what make it a total game-changer in unmanned aviation, built as a fully autonomous unmanned aerial system to handle high-risk logistics and multi-mission tasks where its expanded cargo bay and pilotless design let it drop payloads, launch smaller drones, or deliver supplies deep into danger zones without the vulnerabilities of a crewed cockpit. At its core, this system shines in autonomous cargo transport, with the modified UH-60L airframe trading the pilot station for an 80% larger cabin that crams in 25% more cargo space than a standard Black Hawk, hauling up to 4,000 pounds of gear, munitions, or even acting as a mothership for dozens of small unmanned aerial vehicles or loitering munitions, all while flying missions that could last hours over hostile terrain. It excels as a versatile platform for sustainment ops, self-deploying from forward bases or ships to resupply troops, scout with onboard sensors, or pop out quadcopters for close-in recon, using its proven Blackhawk rotors and engines for reliable hover and forward flight up to 150 knots. The artificial intelligence autonomy means it can navigate GPS-denied environments, avoid threats with onboard radar and infrared, and execute precise drops or launches without human input, turning what was a crude utility chopper into a hands-off workhorse that's safer and more efficient for everything from humanitarian aid runs to combat resupply in places like Ukraine. In operational terms, picture the U-Hawk lifting off from a carrier deck, cruising at 120 knots to a remote outpost, hovering to lower a sling load of ammo crates or deploy a swarm of mini drones for overwatch, then returning autonomously, all while its expanded bay lets it carry extra fuel or sensors for extended loiter, making it a force multiplier for forces that need to move fast without risking lives. Let's get into the nuts and bolts of how the U-Hawk flies and fights, because Sikorsky's engineering is a brilliant remix of the Black Hawk's battle-tested bones with unmanned smarts, creating a drone that's as rugged as the original but twice as flexible, weighing in at around 11,000 pounds empty with a 48-foot rotor diameter and a length stretched to 52 feet for that big cargo nose. Powered by twin General Electric T700 CE turboshaft engines, each pushing 1,870 shaft horsepower for a top speed of 159 knots and a range of 360 nautical miles. It hovers steady for precise drops and cruises at 120 knots for efficient hauls, with the airframe's composite upgrades lightening the load by 10% for better fuel burn while keeping the iconic four-blade main rotor for low vibration ops. The clamshell nose bay, inspired by cargo dropships, swings open wide to swallow pallets or launch drones from internal racks, all controlled by the onboard autonomy suite that uses LiDAR, radar, and electro-optical infrared for obstacle avoidance and threat detection up to 5 kilometers, crunched by AI for self-flying routes or teaming with manned birds via data links. 
In the thick of it, the U-Hawk's routine starts with ground crews loading cargo or mini drones into the bay. Then it spools up the rotors for vertical takeoff like a standard Black Hawk, transitions to forward flight under AI guidance while syncing with a command chopper for shared intel. Once on station, it hovers to deploy a sling load or pop out UAVs for recon, scans with forward-looking infrared for threats, and returns home autonomously, with the framework letting you tweak software mid-mission for new payloads or swarm tactics. This setup's perfect for high-stakes logistics, where affordability meets reliability, bridging manned helos like the UH-60M and tiny quadcopters. The U-Hawk's strategic role is huge in the unmanned aviation shift, acting as a low-risk cargo hauler and drone mothership to extend manned fleet's reach and cut pilot exposure, especially for the U.S. Marine Corps' expeditionary ops, where it could self-deploy from amphibious ships to resupply island outposts or launch swarms against coastal defenses in the Indo-Pacific without tying up crude birds. In hotspots like Ukraine or Taiwan scenarios, it could drop supplies to forward teams, scout with popped-out drones, or act as a decoy to draw fire while its Black Hawk routes make it easy to integrate with existing fleets for rapid rollout. Fun fact, the U-Hawk's clamshell nose is so roomy it can swallow a full pallet of gear or two dozen small drones, turning a standard lift into a flying arsenal. Another cool nugget, Sikorsky's autonomy tech lets it fly fully uncrewed from takeoff to landing, a first for a Black Hawk derivative. The latest news as of October 13, 2025, has the U-Hawk fresh off its big reveal just yesterday on October 12th, when Sikorsky unveiled the S-70 UAS U-Hawk as a fully autonomous Black Hawk variant, ditching the cockpit for 80% more cabin space and kicking off flight tests in 2026, as confirmed by Lockheed Martin execs at a press event. This follows a July 16, 2025, Pentagon nod for the program's expansion, with Sikorsky teaming up with Airbus on October 4 to pitch it for European logistics, where the U-Hawk A model will integrate with Airbus Helos for NATO resupply ops. On October 5th, social media exploded with posts about US F-16C and F-15E jets controlling multiple U-Hawks in tests from July 5, 2025, showing swarm cargo drops. Why it could redefine unmanned warfare for the Marines by 2026 was highlighted on August 11, 2025, amid production ramps. No new contracts this week, but Buzz is building for Marine and European adoption, with Sikorsky eyeing variants for drone launches. The S-70 UAS U-Hawk is an autonomous ace for cargo and beyond, blending Black Hawk grit with pilotless smarts to keep supplies flowing in the fight. What are your thoughts on the U-Hawk? Are you stoked for its 2026 tests, impressed by the cargo bay expansion, or curious about its marine role? Share in the comments below, give this video a like if it lifted off for you, share it with your aviation squad, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe for more deep dives into the drones dominating our skies. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.